Fishing with Android Fanatics, and here we are doing Lapsit Pro. This is a little cool app that is perfect for doing uh, time lapse videos. So we'll go here and we'll check out our settings first because we want to see what all the settings. So our frame interval is two, uh, two seconds. Every two seconds it takes a picture. Um, limit mode to user, we can click that and uh, change it to frame and timer. Um, initial delay in milliseconds 500 we could change that if we wanted to resolution 1080p focus mode default uh, the shutter sound is disabled background capture we'll go ahead and enable it for the video just because so we know it's taking pictures um, background capture is partially enabled we've got the screen brightness of 50 percent none in the output folders and then we've got a bunch of different things that we can do here um, as far as uh, like our file name and format and promotional ending we're not going to do that and then we've got our encoder and stuff so so those are the settings not, nothing real crazy in there um, so we'll go to new capture and we're going to do it in front of my fish tank and I'm just going to hold it because you have to have movement for this to actually work so I'm just going to hit the capture button and it's not going to record my audio, but it should start taking pictures, and I'll try to hold it as still as possible. And you can hear it. Taking a bunch of pictures. And when we're done, we just hit the stop button. And then uh, we'll go ahead and switch this over. Now we've got our deal. We can go ahead and play it. That's what it looks like. Not a very long one. Just a few pictures. And then we can trim it and add effects. We'll go ahead and ch try some different effects. You know, that one looks really good. We've got this one here. Kind of crazy looking. A little bit black and white. So you've got tons of options. We can add music. Um, so we could say add music, and it'll take us to our to audio here. And we can actually select any of the music we have on our phone. Um, so there's a lot of options that you can do for this, and I really like this. I did a time lapse, a real classy one for my fish tank when I first got it. It looks great. It ran for about an hour. It was awesome. Um, and you can see that these really do do look good and then we can hit our render button and we can actually render it out create video and it takes just a little bit to export and render the video and once we do that then we'll be able to uh, uh, look at the video in our gallery apps, which uh, I'm not going to show, but you guys get the idea. It's a great, great app for time lapses, and you can do all kinds of time lapses. I just showed you one because I have that available. Okay, now we've got it done. I can say play, and there you have it. Just a quick little deal, though we can publish it to a bunch of different places, such as Google Plus or wherever. So, um, that's it for this video guys it's a short video but i wanted to get this video out to you guys works really well i really like the time lapse time lapse at pro it, it's so great to be able to make a quick time lapse video without setting up a camera sitting there taking pictures uh, i can just do it from my phone real quick i can go ahead and do it all from the phone with no problems no setup required just hit a button take a bunch of pictures create the video so if you're looking for making some time-lapse videos you got to try time-lapse at pro